Just when you thought Halo 5 was completely done, you were wrong. They recently added some brand new weapon skins into Halo 5, but not just in the rec packs, you have to earn these. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to earn those weapon wins the best way possible so you can get to those skins as soon as possible because I want them too. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a Halo 5 news update. Like I just mentioned, we had the Target Master Accommodation recently brought to us and it's pretty freaking awesome. I wish that Halo 5 had something like this throughout the lifespan of the game because this is so cool. What this is, is that it gives you five, potentially five new Magnum skins. And the way you have to earn these skins is by winning games. And not just like winning a few here and there, like winning a lot of games. Uh, so they, they come in tiers right here. So I'll show you on the screen right now what they look like. Pretty freaking awesome. I love all the skins for this weapon right now. They all look pretty damn cool. So the first weapon skin comes at 75 wins. So does, that's by itself is no small feat. Next one's 175 wins with a very similar skin, but kind of more cleaned up looking with some new uh, carbon fiber texture on the grip right there. Now at the 300 win level, that one looks pretty damn cool with the black and red kind of look to it i really like that the 450 level you have the chrome looking one which obviously looks great and then the 650 level win skin is like the same thing but gold which looks freaking awesome just super clean sleek and just looks great now me i love grinding out camo for certain weapons i did that all the time back in battlefield 3 it's what kept me coming back and playing more and more it's because i wanted to get these camos so to get some kind of perspective of, of how long you think this will take to earn all these wins, well, for me, I generally play solo, so that takes into consideration. So I'm only going to win about 50 to 70% of my games, something like that, maybe even less. And, uh, you know, depending on your teammates and the game modes that you play as well. Uh, so for comparison, my grand total of wins I've had in Arena since launch of Halo 5 is 1,000. 244 of 2,484 games played. So just about half right there. So it's taken me over 14 days to get that in just Team Arena, which is kind of nutty to think about. That's how many wins you're going to have to get. So this is one hell of a grind. I think also for Warzone as well, I've played uh, 626 games and I've won 239 of those within about six days worth of gameplay. So this is gonna be one hell of a grind to get these, but I want them so badly. So as a solo queue player, you're probably thinking, my God, this is gonna take forever. And yeah, it's gonna take a good amount of time, but there are certain game modes you can play to reduce the amount of time it takes for you to get these wins. And the way to reduce that time it takes to get those wins is to reduce the time the games that you're playing take. Now I did a previous video about how to win your daily win packs the fastest way possible for war zone and arena uh, i will link that video in the description down below if you want to check that out for all my stats but basically what it came out as is that team slayer played about seven and a half minutes long uh, about the same for team arena as well uh, but the game modes that really were much shorter that you would definitely want to check out in arena modes would definitely be would be uh, like swat those games were averagely about five minutes long uh, your classic breakout was about five and a half minutes long so you kind of want to stick to those kind of game modes a little bit more now i'm pretty sure you want to count free for all completely out of the equation on this one because i believe if you it counts as a win if you only get first place your csr does go up if you finish top three but the only thing counts as a win if you finish in first place so free for all is the worst way to go about doing this and also you know in over in warzone you probably don't want to deal with that either since the average warzone game goes about 20 minutes long Long, and so you have a 50% chance of winning that so you can literally play four SWAT games within the amount of times it takes one play one war zone game so there's that to take in consideration so if you want to play get so for a solo queue player I definitely would suggest playing those game modes you can probably get by with team slayer or arena as well uh, but I'd say arena probably would go a little bit longer or shorter depending on what teams you play with now if you want to tilt the scale into your favor here this is where things get a little different if you find somebody else you can really match with and play well a really good playlist to play is team doubles uh, I'll start playing with uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine uh, pixel Pete over on twitch he's talking about how he, he got 14 wins in a row playing team doubles with his friend 
they got onyxes but he got champion so if you can play like a good level of team at, at team doubles that's definitely a good way to tilt the skill in your favor there also rolling with a team of four or two or just more friends that are also highly skilled that will help give you a better chance to win a game maybe roll into a game of super fiesta or even quick play or one of those kind of game modes as well in social to where you can help kind of speed up the process a little bit when it comes to getting your wins especially in a team slayer game where it's all completely up to your control about getting kills now this is the thoughts and opinions section of the video here because not not only does this addition to the game is freaking awesome i love the you know earning of things in game to unlock to have it show off if you put in the time and effort to win now it makes me wish so much that 343 did this throughout the lifespan of halo 5 because this is such a cool addition to give people players something special for putting in time into the game that was my this seems to be the general complaint about the rec pack system is that it's all random it means like weapon skins armor customization anything in between it means it means nothing because it's completely random now if i saw a guy walking around with the gold camo for the target master camo yeah i'd be like damn dude you put a lot of time and i really want to get that now if i see a guy walking around with whatever armor there is in halo 5 i really don't care because it's just like well you just got lucky i don't really is that there's nothing really to show off about there's nothing to make you feel special about getting something like that in games and that's what i really liked about this right here for the target master commendation is that you have to play the game you know put your time in forget and so then like high tier dedicated players will get the high-end gear which is fantastic and gives you something always to constantly working for i think i mentioned this earlier in the videos that that was one of my favorite things to do in battlefield 3 was to grind out weapon skins and do certain things and certain uh accommodations to get these certain skins like you know get x amount of kills use get so many kills with a claymore do this or something like that in the game to earn this weapon skin it kind of gives you that grind to where you makes you want to keep on playing plus especially with the way the ranks work as well how they reset up believe like every three months or so that this will be a nice continuing overarching grind to get those wins for these skins uh, i am very excited about getting these now just let, wish that halo 5 did something like this earlier throughout the entire lifespan uh, so then you get people playing the game rather than just trying to get rack points for their unlocks to me this does show a really good sign when it comes to halo infinite and we did confirm in our last video that yeah microtransactions are coming back to halo infinite in what fashion we have no clue now if there's a way to get microtransactions and a way to earn things in game that's fantastic uh call of duty world war ii did something very similar they had the loot box system where you just kind of unlock random stuff whatever you get in it that's what you get but they also give you options to do tasks in game to earn certain you know a bit certain things that would be in the loot crates that you normally wouldn't be able to get or they'd be super rare to get halo infinite should implement into their game as well as that yeah you can keep the randomized loot boxes for random customization skins even emblems you know that's like whatever as long as it's customizations i'm okay with that uh but give us something a way to earn things that exactly that we want either by completing certain tasks or maybe just saving up a certain amount of rec points or just some way for us to earn what we want rather than just receiving what we get anyways guys at the end of the video here i really do appreciate you taking the time to check out the video and you know hopefully you learned something from it if you took something away from this video please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video get more notoriety so more people know about these awesome weapon skins and also just like what this could mean for the future of halo and microtransactions because if we can have continuous unlocks through tasks in game that'd be super great and i would really like to see that with halo infinite uh, leave a comment down below what you think about the weapon skins what this means for the future of the halo microtransactions and if you're new to the channel and want to see more content or stay up to date with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to make sure you stay up to date with anything halo related so i'll catch you guys all in the next video if you miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right over here <laughs> and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out